Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Picciuto, and today we're gonna take this MIDI keyboard and gut it, get rid of the plastic, and make some wood sides and back. So this is just a MIDI keyboard, which means it doesn't produce any sounds by itself. It needs either a computer or a synth. And I have three different synths that I control with this particular keyboard. And this sits at my computer right underneath my monitor and I want it to look pretty. I have not taken this apart yet, so I have no idea what it looks like inside, but I got to imagine it's pretty basic and we'll just take it apart. I have no plans. We're just gonna kinda go with the flow today and see what we can make work. Let's get started. There we go. These are all touch pads. Go underneath here, and they are touch sensitive. And then these are all drum pads, and that goes underneath here for tapping out your drum beats on that guy. So this is the guts. So now. The hard part of figuring out how to get all those guts back into a wood case. All right, so we cut this out of paper first to see if everything lines up. A little bit off with the spacing on, on these guys. For this mod wheel section here, I have this piece of plywood cut and some veneer with sticky back. And that fits right over top. I'm gonna do my best to line this up. To avoid laser burning, it has this protective coat. There's still some sticky back exposed there, and that should fit right on here. Dang, Eric, what do you think of that? This section is done. This, you can see, I need to screw on this circuit board to this piece, but where the screw holes are, there's one, two, three, four, there's space between the plywood and the circuit board. So I gotta cut some wood and glue it on there to fill that space. This took hours and hours. We've been doing this since 10 a.m. It's like four o'clock now to get that to get that perfect. In four hours we shot five minutes of film. <laughs> well, uh, it's real it's super high quality though. Yeah it's coming out good. So I have the back piece here and the modules and I need to add these little inserts here to the sides and that's going to give me something to mount 
the synth side, the visible walnut that we're going to see. So I'm just going to glue this in place and it's gonna help hold everything together. Cool. Keep cutting pieces out so it'll fit in there. Looking good in the hood over here. Woo. All right, so I'm gonna need to glue this piece in here to thicken this up so I can then screw this in from underneath. There is no plan, we're just going with whatever we have to do, which is kind of frustrating and fun at the same time. We do have a slight tragedy and one of the wires broke here. So I will have to get out the soldering gun and fix that. I don't know how to solder, so that's gonna be an experiment. Always get the screw started first. People love this. double-sided tape and then sand them down I'll have an exact replica I have a question. Yeah? Do you know what you're doing? No freaking clue. Okay. So I have all my ports here. I got one screw to attach here and one here, and hopefully that'll be enough. We'll see. That fits in there like Danny Glover. You're getting too old for this shit. Mm. This goes in here. These pop in here. In theory, this should work. This is the moment of truth before I make the bottom. I'm gonna see if it works. So I got, I got my synth here. Currently controlling it with the computer keyboard. Let's plug in the MIDI keyboard here. So far, nothing. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah. All right. Now that we know that it works, we can have lunch. All right, so I have this bottom piece here and then you need to attach it. I know I can screw it in here, but I made this little guy over on the table saw, insert footage, that I can screw right into here, which will allow me to screw this on. Now, we're just gonna wipe on a coat of oil on the sides. The rest of it has already has finish on there. I did that before attaching all the electronics. Excellent! All right, 
right, so before we talk about the troubles that I had in making this keyboard, I would like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 17,000 classes in design, 3D drawing, videography, music, and much more. A premium membership to Skillshare gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts in their fields so you can improve your skills and unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. I'll have a link down in the video description for the first 500 people to get their first two months of Skillshare for free. So one of the many ways that I use Skillshare is learning my audio software. Here I have Logic Pro 10. There are many, many layers to Logic Pro 10 and Skillshare helps me break that down. Just doing a search for Logic Pro in Skillshare brings up all these tutorials. There's Logic Pro 10 for beginners, Logic Pro in a day, Logic Pro tips and tricks. All of the music in today's video was made right here in this office using these three synths and Logic Pro 10. I don't want the software to get in the way of the creation process. So using something like Skillshare allows me to be very efficient in the software and I don't have to think about it and I can work on making music. Every time I go to make a project video, I try to make it my best video ever and Skillshare is a big part of that. Again, there's a link down in the description for the first 500 people to get their first two months free of Skillshare. All right, so let's talk about all the struggles that I had on making this keyboard. So this took way longer than I ever thought it was going to take. I thought we could do this thing in one day because it's simple. It's just a top, a back, and a couple sides, right? So check this out. This, this is all the trial and errors. Dozens and dozens and dozens of pieces to make up this thing. I would test them out on construction paper first, and then I would laser cut them out on plywood. And I was still having a little bit of struggle trying to get everything to fit right. And then what I also learned is that the plastic case is a very efficient uh, use of space. And trying to build up certain sections of the, of the backs uh, with pieces to screw in was kind of difficult because you had to work your way around things. The bottom would have these little pillars of plastic coming up through so the top could screw into, but I couldn't do that because I couldn't make like a little, I, I couldn't glue a dowel in there and then try to screw into that dowel because you'd be screwing in the end grain and it's gonna have a weak point because it's really tall. So I had to work around a lot of things and it proved to be very difficult um, but I got it after many, many tries. I'm really, really happy with it. Oops. Um, the sides, I might reshape just a little bit. I am, I'm not 100% on the shape of the sides. If this is something I'm going to look at in front of my computer every day, I want it to be something that I love. So let me explain my music setup here. I'm in my office. This is just a MIDI controller, which means it doesn't make any sounds on its own. It either needs a computer or it needs to be hooked up to a synth. And I use it both ways. I have these three synths. They are analog synths. Um, well, this is a remake of an analog synth. It's a Roland. Uh, SH01A, and then I have the Korg Monolog, and then a Korg uh, MS20 Mini. And I have them routed into my software, which is then hooked up to this MIDI keyboard. So what I can do is if I want to play this Korg analog synth right here, I can do so. And then I can switch in my audio software to the, the Roland, 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 uh, here and then play with the sounds, work work some things. Turn this up a little bit. And then I have the Korg synthesizer over here and I can switch to that in my software. As you can see, this Korg does have a keyboard on there. And I can play it here, or I can play it here. This does not have a keyboard with it, so I need uh, another controller. And then this one right here used to have keys on it, but I gutted it. I re remade wood sides in a back. I don't know if we can, if you can see that. Uh, 
there. But I have uh, a video coming out also today on this, which is going to be on my second channel. I'll have a link to that. Um, so, and then this one, this, this Korg MS-20 Mini, I'm actually going to remove the keys for that as well. So I just have these little modules that will take up a lot less space on my desk. And then, uh, I can, I can use this new controller over here to control all of them. So one of the other things that I'm going to do with this is these are the original knobs here. I'm going to remake them. I've got a 3d printer thanks to matter hackers and I'm going to do a video on making knobs for this and that's going to be over on my second channel very soon I haven't designed them yet but I want them to be a little bit lower so this keyboard is not as high so the next video coming up is I am remaking this desktop if you recall can you I don't know if we can see here remember those file cabinets that we made a couple months back Right now, I just have a wood plywood, walnut plywood sitting on top of those two file cabinets. And I'm going to do a proper desk. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have walnut plywood again, but then I'm going to have little speaker stands. Uh, my rack mount stuff is going to be able to slip un underneath them. The computer's going to be raised up so I can slip the keyboard back and eat at my desk. I like eating at my desk. Um, Eric and I have already started on that video. That video should be coming out uh, next Thursday, hopefully, if everything goes right. I really, really love taking things and remaking them, uh, removing the plastic and making them out of wood. Do you guys remember the remote control that I made? I That's all wood, so that's walnut, and then I forget what this is here. Um, and then I remember uh, I have a, we have an Apple TV in the living room and this holds my Apple TV remote and slips back into place. It's held on with magnets. I have a video on making this remote. It's an older video, maybe a year or two old. I have a link to that down below, but this was a fun project. I want to do more stuff like this. Recently, Eric and I started to take apart one of my turntables and we were going to make that out of wood, but it turned out to be too difficult. The mechanisms within the record player was uh, just in the way, and I have to kind of rethink how I want to make the wooden record player, so maybe I will revisit that soon. If you would ask me to make this without a laser cutter, uh, no, I wouldn't. To do something like this, Without a without the convenience of a laser cutter it would be very very difficult It would take a very long time But the laser cutter definitely made this project worth my time and worth it for me and it was fun I love prototyping All this stuff out on the laser I'd also like to mention that the walnut from this project came from my local dealer Kencraft you can visit them at kencraftcompany.com they are really good friends of mine they are locally owned and operated here in Toledo it's an all family run business and they do sell online so please check them out this is my office where I do a lot of the synth recordings I we do have another music room here in the house that has uh, electric guitars and acoustic guitars and acoustic drums set up in there and so I kind of use both rooms to make the music and my videos it is my goal from here on out to only use music that I've made in my videos with the exception here and there of using my friends music um, I'm trying to work on an album uh, and have it done and completed by the end of the year and you're going to hear snippets of that album as I work on it in the music uh, as the music bed for these videos look for the desk build I can't wait to get this desk organized because you can't see it but there's just a mess of wires back there uh, um, this this is not working so we need to we need to fix this all right folks that is it as always be safe have fun stay passionate and make something uh -huh.